guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Courtney if you don't know me already and on my channel I react to sport videos, military videos and drum corps international videos and other stuff as well but mostly surrounding America so if you want to get New Zealanders perspective definitely hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video there's actually two videos. I'm taking a video request from a general request form. I will link it down below where you can make video requests and Today we're going to check out Iowa Hawkeyes wave story on ESPN College Game Day. Now I read this is a tradition for a children's hospital, I think it's the biggest children's hospital in Iowa, um, where really 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 sick children go to. So we're going to check these videos out today. Let me know what you guys think down below and let's get into it. Of course, there is also throughout this great crowd here, you, sometimes you'll find ways that crowds try to entertain themselves, you know? I mean, sometimes they'll start the wave, and a lot of times that's just sort of a mindless thing. But this wave that we see at Iowa is something that has great meaning and connotation. We saw it, we saw it last week. Kennick Stadium is right beside mm -hmm. the Children's Hospital Listen. at the University of Iowa. So at the end of the first quarter, they're turning around and making sure that all of these kids know that they're with them. A different kind of wave that is very touching, Tom Rinaldi. Well, Reese, tradition in college football is part of the sport's very DNA, but tradition usually takes time. It happens generation over generation. The best new tradition in this sport has happened fast, thanks to some fans on the Facebook page, Hawkeye Heaven, who made a suggestion that all the fans at Kinnick Stadium should not only salute the players, but that special group of people watching from across the street. And with that, much more than a wave was born. Oh, this is just heartbreaking. They came to the 12th floor for a gesture, or a motion, or a sign. But they received something more, a moment. It's almost like a wave of hope, like you're not in this on your own. <clears throat> This is hard. It's a salute to those kids and to their, their parents and the family members. It just kind of brings it all home, what is important. It started September 2nd. It's time to start a new tradition here at Kinnick. And let's give a big Hawkeye wave to all the kids. <laughs> a new tradition where Iowa fans at the end of the first quarter turn away from the field at Kinnick Stadium and wave to those watching from across the street. <laughs> Patients looking down from the Stead Family Children's Hospital. One of the faces they might see in those windows was Daxon Fippen, 17 years old, fighting to recover from cranial surgery. Even during the whole surgery, I was super calm. I thought he's gonna go in, he's gonna come out. And then he came out and he couldn't dress, he couldn't get out of bed, he couldn't use his hands, and I had a lot of fear. A few days later, with Daxon now conscious but his recovery slow, he found motivation in thinking of the view from those windows. He was super discouraged that day. And then he looked out the window and he said, at least Saturday's coming. <laughs> and then he just snapped right out of it. Mm -hmm. Being able to have that game to look forward to all week, that definitely helped with being able to make the days go by a little bit faster and easier, I guess. Do you see the letter I for Iowa? I-O-W-A. In another window, fans might have seen four-year-old Sam Davidson and his mother Courtney. What they couldn't see was Sam's battle against a brain tumor and his cycles of chemotherapy. I don't think he understands the word cancer, and so we haven't really used that a whole lot. The chemotherapy is four, four or five days, and then we receive his stem cells, and then we recover, waiting for his blood counts to come up, and that's four cycles of that. All right, here we go. Oh, great job. But on a fall Saturday, it isn't about radiation or IVs. It's about celebration and anticipation. For all that he's endured and gone through, Sam wanted to find a spot right up front. 
it was pretty cool. Sam might not know it, but he means more to Iowa's head coach than he could ever imagine. This is a tough subject for me. Nobody plans on a visit to the kids' hospital. It's just, it's, it's not something you schedule or want to go through. The Ferentz family has been through it. In 2014, Kirk and Mary Ferentz lost their granddaughter, Savvy, who was born prematurely at Iowa Children's at just over 21 weeks. We knew it. It was too early. You try to stop labor, but they were unable to. Savvy was born, and um, she survived for two days. And to see my son and daughter-in-law in such pain, and um, it couldn't do anything. Couldn't do anything for it. That was probably the lowest moment. This past summer, Kirk and Mary made a million-dollar donation to the hospital. Wow. To create a program in neonatal research. After talking with Savvy's mother, Nikki, the family named the program in the baby's honor. The next couple of questions, Kirk, are hard yep. because they revolve around the origin of the donation. Yep. It's been a couple of years, and um, you know there'll always be an empty spot where Savvy was supposed to be. I mean, she's very much a part of our family, a part of our life. And I think the best thing was when I talked to Nikki. She goes, "Our biggest fear." is that Savvy's memory will dim, and now it won't. So, when 70,000 turn away from the field and toward the windows, when they raise their arms and move their hands, it's a moment, wow. and it means more than we know. You see it and, and the flood of people looking back at you, it was more emotional than anything, realizing that they were thinking about us. To me, it's just such a nice way for 70,000 people to recognize some really special people. The real heroes are up there. It's more than just a wave. It's a lot more. It's life-changing for all of the patients here. As we said, Iowa oh is not playing at Kinnick Stadium. The Hawkeyes are on the road, taking on Michigan State later this afternoon. There will be no players on the field. Kinnick Stadium will be empty. But on behalf of every college football fan, from here in Blacksburg and across the country, on behalf of College Game Day, right now, for all those who are still in that hospital, there's your wave from all of us at College Game Day, all of us who send our support, our strength, and our spirit to the real heroes. Reese? Tom, we echo that as well. Our way from all of us here at College Game Day to all of those kids at the Iowa Children's Hospital. Back with more game day in a bit. Wow. The person who recommended this was like, you might you might cry a little and I was like okay like I'll I will I'll keep it in mind but whoo whoo that's um that's definitely emotional seriously I can't I can't imagine I can't imagine having a sick child and going through that and what an amazing tradition you know um so let's get into the second one. All right, so this one is about five minutes, so let's get into it. It has been a tough month Ooh, in the man. world. Three hurricanes, a mass shooting, seemingly constant political turmoil. We needed a feel-good story, and Iowa football has provided one, provided one amidst incredible sadness. You're probably familiar with the Kinnick wave, that meaningful moment at the end of the first quarter that, as you saw there, even the opposing fans have now picked up on. You've seen it, but have you seen how it makes the kids who are being waved to feel? How it makes their families feel? 
Rob Stone has that story. Hi, I'm Troy Hepker, a patient at the Children's Hospital. Hi, I'm Mason. I'm a patient here. I'm Daxon Fippen. Hi, I'm Haley. Uh, hopefully this is a tradition that will last forever. I, I can't see any reason why it won't. A simple gesture, a short moment. Something so wow. small can mean so much. The power of having something that helps to take your mind off your illness or your child's illness. Across the street from Kinnick Stadium, just a two-minute walk through the mass of yellow and black that tailgate and celebrate every Hawkeyes game day since the Iowa Stead Children's Hospital children come here for kind of the highest level care of needs um, that they have so we see children with a lot of different chronic illnesses like cancer uh, heart disease cystic fibrosis where's your smile, where's your smile? george was born as a collodion baby which is a rare skin disorder where the baby comes out in their red shiny and they've got this membrane of skin covering them from head to toe Troy, he was diagnosed with uh, leukemia. He's basically on a three and a half year plan. Uh, most of it has been with chemo so far and he'll continue with chemo for approximately another uh, two years. Some of these kids have been here for months and they don't know if or when they're coming home. This is my second home. This is now five days old. And I just turned 18 in April. I've known these people since I was literally a baby. Oh and I've grown up with all of them, and they know everything about me. I know most everything about them. With children having such extensive stays, the staff developed a child life program for the patients and their families. We really try to focus on caring for children's developmental needs and their psychosocial needs. They need normal childhood experiences, normal socialization, and we try to assure that that can take place. Wow. Coach Kurt Ferentz and hospital. his program have been associated with the hospital for years. When it was announced a new structure was going up, the proximity to the stadium provided a unique opportunity to integrate the children in Iowa idea. football. It's kind of uh, had some inside information about what was going on, the way the hospital structured, the concept of maybe looking down it's over a the field. Idea. We started thinking about an event space that would overlook the stadium where kids could come okay. and okay. have some special like tailgate activities on game day and really kind of have that front it's row amazing. feeling of being there at the game. It's and amazing. the press box was born, situated on the 12th floor the space gives an impeccable view of the field. It was decided that was a perfect spot for the children and their families mm -hmm. to go for every home game. They said Iowa. They said Iowa. It's a chance for patients and their parents to forget they were sick, to escape reality for a few hours, and through football, get out of the hospital while still being within its walls. People started seeing talk of the wave on Facebook. It didn't take long before people were really excited about it and um, everybody was in place, I think, on game day to, to be ready. A beautiful idea born on social media. At the end of the first quarter, everyone in Kinnick, all 70,000 plus, would turn and wave to the hospital. What a simple concept, yet so powerful. Like a lot of the good things that happen in life, you know, they are pretty simple in their nature, but the, the, uh, the power and the meaning of it is, is uh, it's really significant. Hi, wave at them. Everyone up here had some tears in their eyes. It's like 70,000 people just turned around and were waving to us. They were all giving us that moment of, hey, we care about you too. Us as parents and our children who are going through this, uh, how much we appreciate what all these people are doing by turning and waving and standing and cheering. You almost feel like one of the football players themselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Already. A man teared up a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty awesome. I um, I was with my family, and everybody started blowing up my phone. It was like, hey, did you see this? And when they did it, it I don't know. It's an indescribable feeling. Go Hawkeyes. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Go Hawkeyes. That's wonderful. That is so wonderful. What an amazing idea. What an amazing idea to put that hospital up like that as well. Um, it must make 
such a difference in their life you know like the video said just those three hours to escape reality i can't imagine going through that and that being your life it must be so 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 hard so but yeah my heart goes out to all those children uh, not only in this hospital but in hospitals all across the world with um, illnesses and diseases and cancer um i've seen strength i just can't i must i can't imagine I can't imagine that life and how difficult and painful it must be both physically and mentally and emotionally um stay strong um yeah but thank you so much to the person who shared this video with me that was really really heartwarming story for sure what an amazing idea you know what an amazing amazing idea so thank you so much everyone for watching today's video if you have any recommendations head over to my website which i will link down below um, apart from that, leave me any comments down below and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.